Hi all, good morning and welcome back to your English Gram Classroom. Today, I am here in front of you with a new topic like uh, parts of speech itself. But what is it? I'll tell you. You know that there are thousands and thousands of words in English language. Not only in English language, whatever be the language, right? And today, I am going to tell you that. I have told you that each word comes under different parts of speech. Am I right? And you know that how to identify which word comes under different parts of speech, right? Yes. But today, I am going to tell you something else. There are some words, there are certain words in English which may come under different parts of speech. The same word under two or three different parts of speech. Say for example, shall we take the example of water? You know that water is the name of a liquid, right? And we gave it as a name, so it comes under noun. All of you will say, when I say the word water, you will say, yeah, ma'am, it's a noun. But I'm telling that it also comes under the category of a verb. Did you water the plants today? If you ask the if I ask the question like that, did you water the plants today? Their water means the action, right? So it comes under the category of verb, right? So today, shall we check out some examples which may come under this one? So today, our topic will be same word as different parts of speech. Now, how will you identify? Yes. So for identifying that, you need to know the meaning of a word in a sentence or in the context what the meaning comes. So the meaning of a word in a sentence determines to what part of speech that particular word belongs. Do you understand? Should I repeat once again? The meaning of a word in a sentence determines to what part of speech that particular word belongs. Now shall we check out few examples? Yes. A mother's love is immeasurable. And the second sentence is, I love my mother. In both these sentences, love is a common word. But in the first sentence, love is the noun. Mother's love. We are talking about that emotion. It's an abstract noun. Right? And I love my mother. In the second sentence, it is talking about an action we are doing. What is the action we are doing? We are loving our mother. That you are loving your mother. I love my mother. So it comes under the category now let us move on to another example rubber comes from South America and in the next sentence the wheel has a rubber tire you can see in the first sentence the word rubber is there in the second sentence also the word rubber is there but in the first sentence it is told that rubber comes from South America that means rubber is the name of someone right who has come from South America that means it is very clear or very obvious that it is a noun and now see the second sentence this wheel has a rubber tire we are describing about the tire that the tire is made up of rubber right that means it is an adjective rubber tire now let me tell you the main classes of words that may vary as different parts of speech the first one nouns and adjectives when the position changes of these words in a sentence their part of speech also may change then nouns and verbs same word can act as a noun as well as a verb as i told you earlier water water was acting as a now when we say about i want some water 
and i would like to water the plants in the sen in the sentence water is acting as a verb and then comes the category of adverbs and adjectives then adjectives and pronouns and finally adverbs and prepositions let us check out one by one okay now let us see some examples of nouns and adjectives as different parts of speech let us check out the first sentence that brick is yellow in that one brick is a noun in the second sentence here is a brick house we are describing about the house that it is a brick house that means brick belongs to the category of adjectives now let us see this example the rich have a grave responsibility in the sentence the rich we are talking about someone it's acting as a subject that means it's a noun a rich person lives here here the word rich is describing about that person that means it's an adjective okay now let us see a few examples of nouns and verbs as different parts of speech give me a stamp we are telling about that object name of that object give me a stamp that means it's a noun stamp this envelope in the sentence we are asking to do some work what is that stamping so stamp this envelope and in that sentence stamp is acting as a verb now are you all clear about this how same word can come under different categories or different parts of speeches i hope so if still you are having some doubts in your mind you can ask me any time and please watch this video once again and try to understand it okay thank you and have a great